Nursing is a noble profession and we really want to do everything we can to set our nursing students up for success, not just in their clinical practicum, but on through their experience as a nurse in the care delivery setting. We know that care delivery is more complicated than ever before. There's increased covered lives and our patients are sicker. It's really pertinent and important that we empower our nurses with the technology and the tools that allow for value-added care delivery, time spent at the bedtime, time spent on those activities that are going to make the most in terms of driving positive patient experiences and outcomes. We also need to be mindful of the challenges that clinicians face in the care delivery environment and where we have the opportunity to optimize workflows and ensure excellence in care practice we want to leverage those to the benefit of not only our patients but also our nursing students and our nursing professionals. Pixis MedStation helps in this endeavor with an additional security and quality feature known as the Pixis QB system. Now, I've opened up the Pixis Med Station right now to a drawer full of QBs. If you notice the layout, it's very flexible in terms of the size of the QB and the volume of medications that I can include in here. And in this particular instance, the nursing leadership has worked with pharmacy to analyze the data from medication dispensing to ensure that the right volume of medication is where it needs to be, when it needs to be there, so we can properly care for the patients that are hospitalized on this particular unit. Now, the QB also allows for secure transport to the nursing unit, again, ensuring that medication is there when it needs to be there, where it needs to be there. And it also allows for a really easy and quick um, switch out of medications when medications start to become empty and the supply starts to diminish. Again, maintaining that medication supply, which is essential for patient care delivery. What's really cool about the QBs too is the pockets open based on where the medication that I've specified on my remove process is located. So I don't have to search in an open bin, therefore putting potentially some risk involved. This opens to the pocket of the medication where I need it, when I need it, so I can quickly remove the medication and get back to my patient. In today's nursing practice, part of our medication management responsibility includes the management of controlled substances or narcotics. These medications are often used for symptom control management, and it's important that we account for all of the medications that were both administered to the patient and wasted as a result of dosage. So I'm going to go ahead into my patient's list and work with a patient I had previously pulled a narcotic on. I'm going to select the patient and then waste using the touch screen. Here is the medication, the controlled substance that I had previously removed. I'm going to select this and then also waste. It asks me in the clinical data area to enter where I am wasting the narcotic and I am going to enter in information there and click accept. I'm then going to enter the amount of narcotic that I'm wasting. I have now documented that I have wasted the controlled substance. The system now prompts me to have my colleague who's witnessing the waste enter their information, thus completing the required documentation for narcotic controlled substance waste. Part of nursing medication management responsibilities includes the administration and associated documentation of narcotics and controlled substances that are frequently used for symptom management. I want to run through a workflow that gives insights into the ease of use and intuitiveness of the Pixis system that allows for a nurse to waste a previously removed uh, narcotic with a witness. So I have my patients pulled up from the list. I'm going to select the patient on which I had previously removed the controlled substance. Here you see morphine listed as a medication that's eligible for this workflow. I select the morphine and then the waste button at the lower right. My hospital system pharmacy has asked that when a nurse initiates a workflow for waste of a narcotic, that I indicate the waste receptacle that I'm using. So I'll enter that information in here now and click accept. I'm going to enter in the amount of medication that I'm wasting and click accept, which documents my intent to waste and also prompts my colleague who is witnessing the waste to enter their information, thus closing the loop on the documentation required for narcotic waste.